as in the summer months, with the sky clear. The radiant sun blazes with light, filling the ten directions. That light, boundless, impossible to measure, even by those with eyes, let alone the blind. So are the Buddhas. Their virtues are boundless. Even in inconceivable eons, no one can know them in detail. All things have no provenance, and no one can create them. There is nowhere whence they are born. They cannot be discriminated. All things have no provenance, therefore they have no birth. Because there is no birth, neither can extinction be found. All things are birthless and have no extinction either. Those who understand in this way will see the Buddha. Because things have no birth, their inherent nature is non-existent. One who analyzes and knows this will arrive at the profound truth. Because things have no inherent nature, no one can comprehend them. When understanding things in this way, ultimately nothing is understood. That which is said to have birth is to manifest lands. Examining according to truth the nature of the world and lands, if one is able to know this, one can explain all things. The Buddha's immense body reaches the extremities of the cosmos. Without leaving this seat, it pervades all places. Whoever, hearing this teaching, respects and has faith in it, shall forever escape all the miseries of the states of woe. Even going to many worlds, uncountably numerous, single-mindedly desiring to hear of the powers of the Buddha and such qualities of Buddhas, their unexcelled enlightenment, even wanting to hear it for a moment. If any in the past believed this aspect of Buddha, they have already become Buddhas and are lamps of the world. If any will get to hear of the Buddha's free powers and having heard will believe, they too will become Buddhas. If any in the present can believe this teaching of Buddha, they will also become Buddhas and expound the teaching fearlessly. This teaching is hard to encounter, even in countless eons. If any get to hear it, know it is the power of past vows. If any can accept and hold such teachings of Buddha, and, upholding them, spread them too, they will become Buddhas. How much the more so those who work diligently, firm of mind, not giving up. You should know such people will certainly attain enlightenment.